Hi guys, welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we're going to talk about the new stablecoin USN and how does it work. We are talking about this central bank that has been just launching yesterday, this stablecoin, and finally we have all the details. We were supposing that they will be like a copycat of Anchor Protocol. And yes, there are some similarities, but we have also to understand which are the peculiarities by this stablecoin. And we will discuss uh, all about uh, this uh, uh, new opportunity and also what you have to do if you have to do something in order to uh, be able to get them. Uh, just before to start, guys, remember that this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but do always your research first. And uh, if you enjoy this content, remember also to subscribe to the channel, to leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. In this way, you are really helping me and you're also helping other people to retrieve this content. Okay, guys, let's start immediately. USN. So USN is a stablecoin. Nothing different from what we have seen from USDT, USDC, USD or FRAX. The main difference is that in the moment when we are talking about USDT or USDC, we are talking about centralized stablecoins that are backed by an equal amount or at least it should be an equal amount or even higher of assets that should be stable. On the other side, when we are talking about decentralized stablecoins like USD or FRAX, we are talking about stablecoins that are uh, receiving their value through different kind of mechanisms. In the moment when we are talking about, for example, of uh, FRAX, we have a mixed system that is composed by a, a collateral that is in this moment around 86%. So it means that for every $100 of FRAX that are uh, outside, there are $86 of a, a collateral that is a stable collateral that is composed by different kind of assets. If you want to know more, you can use this page, the Frax Finance app, in order to understand what are the assets that are composing the uh, collateral and the treasury that is managed by uh, Frax. On the other side, the other 14-15% uh, that is uh, used to back the stablecoin is composed by the FXS token, that is the governance token of Frax Finance. In the moment when the price is changing, so the amount that is uh, backing that kind of uh, the, the, the Frax stablecoin is changing, there is the opportunity to change the amount of FXS that is backing the uh, Frax token and on the other side also change the amount of collateral that is used to uh, back this kind of uh, stablecoin. On the other side, different stories when we are talking about uh, uh, Terra. Terra and obviously we are talking about UST. UST is an algorithmic stablecoin uh, that is different from what we have seen on FRAX because the algorithmic is just a part of FXS. But uh, on FRAX we have a part of algorithmic stablecoin and on the other side we have the uh, traditional uh, collateral over collateralization or in this case it is just a partial collateralization of the stablecoin. About UST, the way that you can mint a stablecoin, the UST stablecoin is just burning Luna. So in the moment when the price of one UST is over the peg, it is more convenient to burn Luna and receive UST. In the moment when uh, the price of USD is below one dollar, is more convenient to burn USD and receive Luna. So through this kind of system, burning Luna and receiving USD and vice versa, this is the way that the bag is maintained. USM is something like a mix because in order to uh, receive the USM, you have to give near. And you can do it through the uh, wallet, as you can see here. You can use the Near Web Wallet. And if you're wondering what is the Near Web Wallet, is this one. You can create an account, and this is an app that you can use in order to mint the uh, USN. Remember, if you are new, the first time that uh, you will be starting to create a wallet on near you will be required or to buy a couple of near just to have the minimum amount that is required to pay uh, fees or to deposit from another uh, centralized exchange uh, you don't have the opportunity to mint a uh, usn at least for now if you are using another wallet like for example 
uh, the uh, standard wallet, it is another wallet that it's not requiring for you to make uh, the first deposit because they will provide you directly a, a minimum amount. Uh, this is another near wallet that at least I'm using. So going on, starting from yesterday, we have now the opportunity to uh, mint the USN from the wallet or on the other side, if you prefer, you can go on refinance and you have the opportunity to swap USDC, for example, for USM. And as you can see, I will just hide myself for a second here into the right corner. There is the announcement that USM has been just released. But let's try to understand now what is the main point. What is the use case for USM and most of all, what are the opportunities? So how much we can earn from USM? Because we were talking about a copycat of Anchor Protocol that, as we all know, is offering us this kind of APY, so around 20%. And USM will offer, yes, something similar, even if, as they are saying into their announcement, they still don't know exactly what will be the real APY, because this APY is composed by two different factors. From one side, they are using the staking APY that is coming from near, that is around 11%. So the main difference between UST and USN is that if when we were talking about UST, we have to burn Luna, so we have to take out the circulation, that kind of Luna. In the moment when we are talking about near, the near that are used to uh, mint USN are not going out of the circulation. They are just going to a, a treasury that is managed by the decentral bank DAO. This is the DAO that is managing the whole treasury and it is managing also the near that are inside. This near, if the DAO will decide so, will go and will be a uh, state. So they will start to uh, collect rewards. These rewards, as I was saying, are around 11%. On top of it, it is possible, or at least this is what they are saying, we will receive some kind of rewards from the different main uh, protocols that is around 10 million plus each month. And this is the amount that will be distributed each month by the DAO and it will go to the holders. That's the reason why they are saying that we'll uh, likely at the beginning receive over the 20% for a different kind of incentives. And guys, remember that if you're enjoying this content, please leave a big thumbs up or drop a comment because in this way, you are really helping me to reach more people and to grow this channel. So we were saying that uh, this is the way that they are receiving, they are producing this kind of at least 20% of APY. But is it sustainable and how the whole dynamic will work? And what is the difference from uh, USN and UST on Anchor Protocol? Is it better to use a steel Anchor Protocol or is it the time to go to USN? This is something that we will answer in a moment. Just before going on, let me say a couple of things about Spin Finance, that is a, a, one of my sponsors, and it is a new protocol on NIR. So we are still talking about NIR protocol, and the goal of them is working with Perpetua, so derivatives. Uh, right now, they are still in an early phase. I think that they have just launched uh, yesterday, and uh, as you can see, this is the interface and this is still an alpha, remember guys. There are some limits, as you can see, I think from uh, this uh, uh, tweet here. These are the limits that you have to respect in order to uh, use the platform. They are just testing right now and they are saying they have done an audit, an internal audit, but they are starting to work with an external audit in order to make the most secure as possible the platform. This is something that is really important because remember that the security is one of the most important point about uh, DeFi and obviously uh, even more when we are talking about this kind of protocols. As you can see, what is peculiar by this protocol is the way they are wanna try to recreate the experience that we have on centralized exchange 
on DeFi. This is something that we have started to see uh, on different kinds of blockchains. We were talking about Serum, we were talking about many others. And now it's coming also on near through this interface. This is a spot exchange, at least for now, and in the future will be supporting also different kind of perpetual and derivatives. The only pair that is available right now is near USDC and more will come into the future. This is a point that to, to me is really important because in order to really be able to push DeFi, what we need is to create the smoothest experience as possible. This is a concept that to me at least it is really important. I really would like to see more attention to the user experience than just to, forgive me for the word, nerdy feature because yes that's cool to have some kind of really niche feature but on the other side make it available to all the people make it easy it is the key to grow the whole ecosystem the uh, project hasn't launched yet the token but they have released the nft that will be a utility nft here you will find all the information and this is also the nft that will be used in order to access the uh, ido that will come into the next future this is a project that is backed by a uh, different kind of uh, uh, partners and down here you can find all the partners and who is working with. And as you can see, there is also a Denier a Foundation. Here you can find also the map. Don't worry if you are thinking that I'm going too fast because I will release all the links into the description below so you can check them by yourself. I wanna just share uh, this uh, uh, tweet. They are saying that they will also do a retro drops in order to push right now people to try the main net. Because the goal, as I was telling you, is uh, to find out all the different bugs and problems in order to make it secure and safety for all the users. So right now, if you will decide to use the platform, be aware that it's possible that in the next future they will also uh, do some kind of retro drop, so rewarding people that has been using the uh, platform right now. Remember that just uh, a speculation because we don't have details on how it will work. They are just saying that they will do, but we don't know how it will happen. And uh, as you can see, this is the announcement that uh, after two weeks uh, of a uh, testnet, right now the uh, spin file is uh, available also on uh, the mainnet. So guys, if you wanna try it, you will find all the links in the description and included also all the social links. Remember, if uh, you wanna join a project, always remember to check also the links, participate to the community because the more you are updated, the more you are on track on what is happening, the more also you will be able to benefit. Remember that this market is changing so fast that if you are not following it, it is possible to lose an opportunity or at least not to be able to follow your strategy as you were planning to do. So guys, coming back to a USN. So we were saying that yes, they are providing us this kind of 11% that will go to a 20%. But what is the difference from a anchor protocol and which protocol is the best one. Let's start saying that in the moment when we are talking about anchor protocol, we are talking about something that has a, a great history and has already something like a, a 20 billion in total value locked. And just to give you a difference, a number, here we were talking about 10 million rewards that will be distributed monthly. Just to give you an idea, on Anchor Protocol, they are burning because the year the service is burning because it's a loss, something like 4 million every day. So just to give you a comparison, it means something like 100 million per month. That is 10 times higher than what they are distributing here. In any case, the main concept is something that is close to what we have seen on Anchor Protocol. The main difference is that instead of having to uh, use as a collateral uh, your uh, stakeable asset, what you are doing on USN, you have this feature that is already embedded into the system because the reality is that it is the same. If on Anchor we are using, in order to make it sustainable, more uh, collateral that you are giving up your staking reward to the Anchor protocol, 
on USN, so on Decentral uh, Bank, it's working exactly the same. You are giving up your near uh, staking rewards that are making around 11%. This is the basis. Uh, the point is that how much will be the real APY into the next couple of weeks and months? The reality is that it's pretty much difficult to answer. I believe that uh, the APY will not stay over 20% for long, probably at the beginning into the different uh, uh, protocols like this one, the ones that I'm showing you right now. We will be able to find some uh, USN, some opportunity for it that cannot even reach the 20%. Right now, uh, I have just checked it uh, previously, it's not yet available on uh, other protocols uh, except uh, Reef Finance, but uh, I expect that uh, in the next couple of days, or at least in any case soon, uh, we will have also them into other main protocols on uh, near. Uh, in any case, 10 million is still a small amount, so we are still talking about something that uh, it is supposed to be just for a niche, or at least don't expect to be able to earn 20% if this USN will go mainstream. Obviously, there is the possibility that they will add rewards during the time, so that's just the beginning and we are still curious to know how it will work. In any case, it could be also a good idea just going step by step because in order to be sustainable something, you have to pivot it, you have to test it, you have to understand what are the dynamics, the possible problems. So that's a good strategy to start with a small amount and after that growing it. Just to give you an idea, in the moment when we were talking about the USDD, that is something that is close to what we are seeing right now that will be released the 5th of May on Tron. In that case, we were talking about something like $10 billion. So a big amount of uh, money that will be used in order to push that protocol. So with any probability, we are talking about two different strategies. I don't know which one will be able to be successful at the end of the story. For sure, I will be following uh, this project and uh, I still believe that uh, Anchor is much more secure just because they have a longer history and so on. But on the other side, I will try a USN and we'll try to understand how does it work and what are the opportunities that we can get from this uh, stablecoin. Obviously, I would like to see previous to uh, go in and start using it, uh, the different use cases on Eurocash and also all the different protocols that will be integrating these uh, stablecoins. Guys, so let me know what do you think about uh, a near USN. And remember, if you want to know more about Spinfy, you will find the links in the description below. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video, remember to leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. And if you are new, also subscribe to the channel because I will see you tomorrow with another video. Guys, thank you for following me and see you tomorrow. Bye.